Hey everybody, it's me Megs, and today I am going to do a first impressions, yes, of what? One of my favorite things, foundation. So, what is the foundation that I'm going to be first impressioning today with you guys? Just guess, just guess. I'm like super, super excited. Okay, I'm like really excited. So the foundation that I'm going to be trying out today is the new foundation, y'all, by Juvia's Place. They sent me this big old package full of foundations, y'all. Full of foundation. Full of them, okay? So yes, it is 42 new shades, okay, of their Velvet Matte Foundation, okay, in 42 shades. Okay, this is long wear, smooth application, flawless coverage. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the jam and see what's going on with this foundation. Okay. Okay, you guys. So, you know I had to zoom in and get up close and personal. I wanted to get more into the product. So, this is what the packaging looks like. I really love the color of the packaging and I really love that I'm able to squeeze out product to get the foundation out. You don't have to struggle um, with, you know, it being glass bottles or if you travel a lot, you don't have to worry about anything breaking. So with this foundation, this is a full coverage foundation and it is a matte finish. I absolutely love a matte finish to my face because that is kind of like the look that I've just always really loved. It looks great in pictures, especially if I'm going out, um, you know, to events. Um, it looks great in photographs and, you know, whatever video you're doing. And, you know, nighttime photography, I just personally love a little matte look. So, this is a one ounce bottle here, okay? And, and Juvia's Place did come out with 42 shades with four different undertones, okay? And what's really cool with this foundation range is that it comes with four different undertones, warm, cool, and olive. Because, you know, we come in a lot of different undertones and shades, you know, so it can be a little tricky for us to find a foundation. And also with this foundation, is divided in kingdoms, okay? So it's Nubian, medium, and fair. So... I am in the Nubian Kingdom, okay? And I have two foundation colors that match me. Leos is 240 and Burkinina is 310. Hopefully I pronounced that correct. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm -mm. So I am gonna double prime and I'm gonna use a little bit of Urban Decay. Woo! A little bit of Urban Decay Rebound. So I spray that on first, let it dry a little bit. So I really, really like how there are three kingdoms and the three kingdoms are broken up into eight families, which is really helpful when you're trying to find your foundation color. So the families are deepest dark, deep dark, dark, rich tan, tan, medium, light, and very light. And also what I noticed here too with the foundation colors, the darkest shade is the lowest number and the lightest shade is the highest number because you know it's always flipped the other way around, girl. So that's cute. I like that. So um, this is dry now. So I am going to go ahead and prime one more time using a blur primer because with this being matte, I want my pores to be really nice and blurred. And everything that I'm using is down in the description below, you guys. So I put some on my forehead and really focus in on this area because this is where my pores are the most visible when wearing makeup. It's in this kind of area right here. Okay, so that's on. So first I am going to put on Burgundia. Hopefully I'm saying that right, y'all. And so it is this color here. And I'm going to apply this right here and see if this is a match for me. And Juvia's Place also gave me this really, really cute foundation brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the foundation brush too and see how I like it. Ooh. Ooh. When I'm trying out foundation, I always put it along my jawline because my neck is darker than my face. My face is lighter. So I always tend to want something just a little bit darker to match my neck. So let's, that's actually a pretty good match. 
looks pretty good. So let's try Legos on the other side. So I'm just gonna use a dot first before I get crazy. And that looks pretty good too. Y'all, which one do you think? I'm kind of digging. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. Oh no, this has never happened to me. And you know what? This is an absolute blessing to be so indecisive about what foundation looks good. Because this doesn't happen often for us. <laughs> Um, as far as being like, oh, which one do I have options? Oh, I have options. Um, you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with this one on this side because I feel like it's an exact match. Even though my neck is just naturally dark. But this one also works also. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this side here. So let's get busy. Go with Burke and Nina um, because it's warmer. And I like my face to be warm, even though this one still works. I just kind of like this one. I like something about this one. So I actually think I put a little bit too much on my hand because I'm noticing that a little bit of product goes a long way and I'm really loving the finish. As you can see that little bit that I swatched on my face to find my match spread nice and evenly even just with my fingers at first. So yes, you don't need a whole bunch of this but I put a little too much. So I'm only going to put about that much on my brush and I'm going to start on my forehead for this. Ooh, this is full coverage. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! I look like a, my forehead look like a filter. <gasps> it looks like a filter. Girl, this is. You know what, I really like this brush too. This brush is really soft and it covers a lot of space on my face. And it's making the foundation just really effortless to blend because you know sometimes brushes can be a little scary when it comes to especially matte foundation. And I'm noticing that it's not drying. Because you know sometimes with matte foundations you feel like you have to work really fast before it dries. And this is a really nice, smooth finish. And I like it. I did not need a lot. Wow. This is definitely full coverage. Okay, you guys, so this is, this is what I'm looking like. So what I am gonna do is, I'm gonna put a little bit, just a, a smallest amount, like that much on my neck. I'm just gonna bring her all the way down just to see. This coverage is amazing. And really make sure I get right here. Okay, you guys, so this is it with it on. And now that I look and see how the product 
distributes on my face I see why though it's a one ounce because you don't need a lot of it at all look I still have all of this on my hand and I pretty much wasted this so now I know for next time I only literally need less than probably like a pea size so that is really good because the foundation is gonna last you a really long time the consistency is kind of thick but on my face it doesn't feel thick or cakey at all but this coverage is so bomb it is so effortless like with some other foundations i would have to probably put probably like two coats to get this kind of look and finish and i'm liking this so far like i'm liking it a lot so let's go ahead and highlight yeah so 310 is it y'all so now i am gonna go ahead and highlight and contour they did send me these concealers but there isn't too much information as far as if they're matte as well um but i really love the size of this concealer look how big look how big this packaging is so it looks like you'll get a lot of use out of this too which i like because you know concealers tend to run out first before your foundation so i'm i'm really digging this so the color that i'm going to go for first to highlight with is 11 okay Okay, so it does have an applicator wand. Ooh, it's creamy. Ooh. So I'm gonna take my time with applying this because it seems like a little goes a long way as well with this. But it feels so good. I'm gonna blend it out with a damp beauty blender and I like that number 11 has some kind of like golden warm undertones to it and that's how I like my highlight to look oh wow oh it's really smooth You know what, since my skin is like really, really matte, I feel like this added some life back to my face. As far as kind of like dimension. And I like that it added like an additional warmth that I like. I like to be golden. I'm really liking how that's looking. It's like really smooth. Oh, it looks so natural too. I don't feel like I look cakey or anything. So the contour, I'm gonna go in with number one. And this is what number one looks like. I really love how large the packaging is. How many ounces is the concealer? It says 0.34. That's a lot, girl. Actually, I'm not gonna contour with this. I'm gonna use the other one because look how dark one is. So I am not going to contour with that because I think it's gonna be a little too dark, but look how, look how pigmented that is as far as a concealer. Bomb. I think instead I'm gonna try seven. Let's see. Let's see, do I wanna use, so this is seven. Actually, seven might be my skin tone, kind of like concealer. So you know what, I am gonna go back with 11, but I'm gonna be really careful, okay? I'm only gonna put a little bit to contour with. But I'm loving the finish. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm nervous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna probably do two dots like that, or three. And then three here, two, three. And then some dots like this and see how it works. 
because you don't want to mess up the contour <laughs> so it's best to put a little bit and then work your way up okay yeah girl this is dark <laughs> which is not bad either So I'm going to really have to blend this out like a lot. Yeah, that actually worked out. Okay, y'all. So with the contour, I will say that was a little too dark. So I really had to blend it out like a lot. So instead of using that on my nose, I'm actually going to go in with number seven and see how that works to contour my nose. Yeah, seven actually works. Seven is for me. All right, you guys, so this is how everything looks uh, without setting it. I'm really liking how it's looking so far. It is matte, but it's not like a matte matte where it's like, ooh wee, it's too matte. It's a really nice velvet matte. It's a nice, healthy, kind of like glowing matte to me. Um, other than my contour color, that was a little too dark, so I should have went and used seven first. So I know for, you know, future application to go with seven, which is what I use on my nose to contour with, but um, 11 is great for those who need that darker contour or need that darker concealer. So that is really nice to know that there is an option out there because concealers normally do not come that dark. So that was a great problem to have, actually. Actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm gonna put on a little bit of translucent powder. Alright, so brows are on and I am done baking, so I'm just going to lightly brush away the powder. And I'm going to use a powder puff, a little bit of Laura Mercier's powder in deep. And I actually like doing my powder like this now. And I put this on all over. Okay, you guys, so my eyes are done. I did use Juvia's Place um, Nubian and Coral Palette. And this palette has a mix of uh, warm corals and cool tone shadows. So I use, you know, some of the warmer corals in my eye and I smoked it out and then did a bright kind of like pink in my waterline. So this palette is the bomb. Like it's super, super pigmented and I absolutely love it. So to finish off the look, I'm going to go ahead and bronze, put some blush on and highlighter and lips. So I am going to put on some bronzer to warm my face up. For blush, I'm going to put on some NARS Matahari. 
It's a really kind of like pinky, kind of corally like blush. And I chose this blush because it kind of goes with my waterline liner. My blush is on, so I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray before I highlight. Ooh. I feel like I just brought everything together, together. <laughs> Ew! To highlight with, I'm gonna use some MAC Show Gold. And this is kind of like a pinky highlight, which I love. Now I'm gonna line my lips with Chestnut by MAC. For gloss, I'm going to use Max Cream Pie. Alright you guys, so my face is fully on and I am really liking how my face turned out. I've had this foundation on for a total of four hours and I haven't had to touch up. And that's the kind of foundation that I absolutely love. I took some pictures. The pictures turned out amazing. I look like a walking filter. Like I didn't even face to myself and I'm like really blown away at how my um, pictures were looking with this flawless foundation. So I will definitely say I give Juvia's Place foundation a definite thumbs up for me because I am really big on how my skin looks as far as pictures and video and things like that and this is definitely giving me the look that I really like. It's not too matte and it's not really too too velvet. I'm still getting some real like skin look where it's not cakey. I don't feel like I look too too makeup-y even though I'm beat. I'm beat okay. I'm beat down. I'm really happy with how it's looking and it's really soft to touch like on my skin I feel like I have nothing on like I don't feel weighed down with makeup like I do with some other brands I do not feel weighed down and like to touch it feels like skin like I'm doing this and nothing nothing like it I like it a lot so I'm I'm feeling it I'm feeling my eyes the eyeshadow was very pigmented and bomb so I'm just liking all of this I'm liking all of it I really like it. I didn't have to do too much concealing when wearing it, but then again, I don't really have too much to conceal, but I definitely would recommend this for anyone who does have any kind of like acne scarring or hyperpigmentation. This full coverage is full coverage, okay? It fully covered my coverage <laughs> that I needed. So yes, this is gonna be my go-to um, look. I mean, as far as foundation look that I wanna have when I go out, y'all, cause this is, this is bomb. I was like feeling myself, like I feel super cute. So I do wanna say thank you so much to Juvia's Place for collaborating with me on this video. All of the products that I use is down in the description below and the link down to Juvia's Place to get your hands on this new foundation because you need it. You need it, okay? You do, you need it, <laughs> okay? So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer that. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.